Good evening, everyone. Americans are buying cars, a lot of them, and showrooms across the country were bustling in October. Despite the government shutdown, October was another month of strong auto sales, proof that the manufacture and sale of new cars and trucks are one of the engines powering the U.S. economic recovery. Now, each of Detroit's big three scored double-digit sales gains, and much of that on pickup trucks. General Motors was in the fast lane. Sales surged almost 16 percent. At Ford, sales grew 14 percent, and at Chrysler, they were up 11 percent. Phil LeBeau joins us now from Chicago with more on all of that. So it was an amazing month, Phil. Um, you know, the headline numbers look fantastic. But when you look under the hood, there are some numbers that weren't so good, like the Chevy Volt numbers. They dropped. You know, what happened there? That got a lot of attention today, Susie. The Volt sales dropped 31.7 percent for the month of October this year compared to October of 2012. Now, GM is quick to point out that October of 2012 was the second best month ever for Volt sales, and they believe that the inventory is a little bit on the low side. So as a result, it's not as though they're seeing falling demand. But at the same time, the Volt sales this year are just over 18,000. For the year, Volt sales are up just 2.7 percent. So not a huge amount of growth there. And a lot of people are sitting there saying, will this be a niche vehicle? Or can General Motors really take these sales and grow them at a, at a nice clip over the years to come? And that remains a big question for a lot of people watching this. Tell us about pickup truck sales, Phil. Have they started to slow a little bit? They are. And, and that's expected for the most part in the industry. They had a huge run in the first half of this year, Tyler, largely because of what we saw with the housing market picking up, small business owners restocking their fleets. And almost everybody in Detroit will tell you that they expected a start of a cool down in, term of pick, in terms of pickup truck sales. That doesn't mean a slowdown, just that they're not going to grow as quickly as they were in the first half of this year. You know, Phil, I was surprised to see that incentives and rebates are back. You know, what's the story there? And is this going to keep the auto sales market strong going into 2014? Well, Susie, this is what worries people the most about the auto market. Will they start to repeat the mistakes that they made several years ago when they really started putting huge amounts of money on the hood of the vehicles in order to juice the sales? We're not seeing that yet. What we are seeing is a little bit more competitive market between the automakers. And the concern is, if this economy plateaus or doesn't continue growing at the clip it's been growing at, will they have to put more money out there in order to goose the sales? All right, we'll keep watching. Phil, thanks so much. Phil LeBeau, reporting from Chicago.